What is up guys, welcome back to another Fallout video, and today I'm bringing you episode 17 of our Top 5 Mod series. And before we start the video, I'd just like to say, um, sorry I missed Monday, uh, I've been having, been getting really busy because I'm going on vacation, so I have to like, pre-do a lot of stuff before I go on there, and if the upload schedule is going to be kind of weird the next, like, end of this week and the beginning of next week. I am pre-recording a bunch of videos, so it's not really going to seem like I'm gone, but I might miss a day because I'm not sure when I'm going to upload them. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, our first mod is the Rivet City mod by Voltman111, and the Rivet City mod adds your very own aircraft carrier which comes in a functioning interior and exterior. The aircraft carrier acts as a player home for the lone wanderer and is able to customize with a workbench which is located outside of the structure. The carrier is empty and ready to be customized by your individual liking. This mod is very detailed and I hope you enjoy it and I have spent a lot of time working on it to make a good quality mods for PS4 users. So as you can see this ship is like just huge. If you look over the edge it's like so it's so high and it's just ginormous. And as you can see here if you go to your workshop and go into build mode you can actually place things on the deck so you can make houses, you can make other structures on top of here to make it look really cool and it's really easy to build because it's all really flat. This ship is located off the coast of the area around the castle. It's going to be pretty far out into the ocean just because it is so big and for like a little reference, you can kind of see a little uh, smaller ship in the background of this video right here. And just compared to this video, it's just so big. Not only does it have a little interior that you can go in, but the actual like command tower and stuff like that, you can go into each one of those rooms and it's kind of like an elevator type of thing. You just fast travel into it. It's actually really cool. You can build in each one of these rooms and go around the ship. There's actually going to be some military planes that are pre-war that look pretty cool on the deck as well. And if you actually take into like the amount of like the square feet and like height you can place on this aircraft carrier, it may be like one of the biggest settlements you can actually build at because you can either build in these um, little like cabinets up here or you can build on the deck or you can build inside the thing it's really cool this door right here leads up to the above decks of this little um, captain's area playing and right here it says the commonwealth but when you actually go down into it you actually spawn in like the below area of the ship and a lot of mods to add like these big big buildings or ships and stuff like that just make like the undercarriage of the ship just plain and hollow and open this guy actually took the time to actually make quarters and kitchens and bathrooms and stuff in here that you can actually find things in. There's going to be like an armory in here. There's going to be a kitchen. There's going to be um, a whole bunch of other things later in the video that I'll have to show you. You can actually really see the amount of time this guy took into putting this mod together and there's like a little place here with like right away and surgical trays and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And if you want to, you can also like use your workshop and build things in here. Um, I don't know really why you would want to besides just picking up items and using like OC decorator to place things in, the, um, in like the cabinets and stuff like that to make it look uh, more filled and stuff like that. But if you go into this room here, there's going to be a kitchen and to your right is going to be a door that leads to a, another location. And there's just doors all over the place. So I'm pretty sure I haven't explored this like whole thing yet. Um, there's like a whole bunch. Of, it's kind of confusing, honestly. If, like you just keep going through doors and not keeping track of where you go because the place is almost like a maze. And through this like red label door, it's going to be like the boiler room almost. And as you can see here, it's like that has that like nuclear sign. So I'm guessing this is where the ship runs. And there's going to be a whole bunch of doors inside of here leading to different places. But if you go into this red door here, it's kind of like the control area for all of this. So which is pretty cool and if you go through this door right here it's going to be to like another big control room that like helps run the ship it looks like and one of the coolest parts in my opinion of this whole ship is whenever you go up out of the little like control area go up to up the stairs here and along this like little scaffolding there's going to be another door and if you go out here you can see there's like a little place for your um, tanks to be deployed and stuff like that which I think is really cool because it gives it a lot of character and like there's actually water in here and I just think it's really cool and he should probably make a mod I know you can do it on PS4 we could actually like to drive the tanks but I know that's not possible on PS4 but it'd still be cool you know but overall this mod is really really good he took a lot of time to make this and um, it's not like he like just made the whole thing in like interior hollow and stuff like that he actually took time into making this mod so it does not require any DLC and it's pretty much compatible with every mod I've used for it. So overall, it's a really, really good mod and I definitely recommend it. So this next mod is a pretty simple mod and it is also the most expended mod for PS4 by Nihir. And basically what it does is it just makes um, the boundaries of all your settlements a lot, lot bigger. And the reason I like this mod so much is just because whenever I want to um, place water purifiers and stuff like that, a lot of settlements don't actually have like 
places that have water near them, and whenever it expands it, it gives you a bigger chance of you know, having more water or getting a chance of getting water. And he actually made some of the items outside of the like increased barrier um, scrappable, but a lot of them like say they're scrappable, but they're not, and this is just because if you have like a mod that lets you scrap things that are outside of your settlement, you can actually scrap them then, but on the other hand, like some places like affect the terrain too much, so you can't just scrap them and stuff like that. And overall, it like doesn't just like expand the barrier, you can actually do a lot more outside of it. So I figured I would show you what it looks like around some of the settlements and how much more it increases it. So this is what it looked like around the castle. Here is what it looks like around Spectacle Island, and you can tell like it expands it a ton into the water, out into the sea. And Spectacle Island is already the biggest settlement anyway, so um, it just increases its size by a bunch. And uh, you can actually place... A lot more water purifiers now, I guess, if you want to. There's, like, mods where you can play ships and stuff, which I think is going to look cool, and I'll probably do that later on in my, like, base building with mod series. And the only thing is, like, when you go around this part is that around the other side of the island, it's not going to be as expanded. It's going to be pretty close to the shore, but, I mean, it's already a really huge thing, so you're not going to have to worry about running out of space anyway. So this is what the boundaries look like around Abernathy Farm, and uh, my, like, base, like took up as much space as possible like it was as big as the boundary let you be so as you can see here it has a lot more space here around like the sides of it but if you go to the front of it it's not going to add very much more i think that's just because it affects spawn locations and things like that and if you do that it's going to mess up your game so he did leave out a bunch of stuff and up here it starts getting bigger again so you can place a lot more things and right here it says you can scrap that you can't actually scrap that unless i guess you have a mod for it but overall a really really good mod doesn't require any dlc and it's pretty much compatible with every other mod you're going to use for this game our next mod we have is legendary difficulty by spets and basically what this does is it sets outgoing player damage to about 0.25 times uh, like normal damage and it keeps the incoming enemy damage at about 4x which is normally the default and you use this when you're on survival mode so it's going to make your game a lot harder and it's for people who have beat the game or just for looking like a challenge if you're really good at it or if you're just like looking for something fun to do so as you can see here, i'm on survival difficulty i run into some super mutants later on later uh, on and i think an angler i'm pretty sure and they do a lot of damage and i'm like level 150 and it kills you really really fast it just makes it a really really fun challenge if you beat the game and have nothing else to do and he says for those wondering about 4x enemy damage survival works out the ongoing and incoming damage by multiplying the base game set values by 1.5 and 2 respectively the base game set values are the same as very hard and being 0.5x outgoing damage and 2 times uh, damage incoming. A hidden perk is added to your player upon starting survival mode then multiplies these values by 1.5 and 2 respectively resulting in the following calculations. 0.75 times outgoing player damage and 0.5 times 1.5 um, is how much he lowered it I guess, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but I mean your outgoing damage is going to be 0.5 uh, 2, 5, and your incoming damage is still going to be 4 times. But I just thought it was really fun walking around in, like, survival, or I guess it'd be legendary mode, as he says, um, because it's survival mode, but it just makes it a lot harder, and I thought it was really, really fun. Overall, just a really little mod that's just going to make your game, uh, really fun if you want to put it on that, and also, doesn't require any DLC or anything like that, and it's pretty much going to be compatible with every mod, so, overall, really, really fun mod if you're just looking for something to do. Our next mod is a gun mod, and that's actually Clint Eastwood's Revolver by Zombie King, and this basically is just a revolver that has a greater shot multiplier and uh, more damage, and it can shoot semi-automatic instead of the standard bolt action like revolver type thing, so it's not going to slow you down at all. And it can be located in Good Neighbor, so from the interest of Good Neighbor, go over here, go to like the gun shop, It's gonna be you're going to see like Cleo, and at his little desk place is going to be the snub those Clint Eastwood Revolver. Go into your inventory and you can actually see that this uh, revolver does a lot of damage compared to like of the other like some of those revolvers. It does 81 damage and has a fire rate of 66 which is really good for a revolver. The range is 83 and the accuracy is 51 and for overall for like the weight of it it's not too bad and doesn't have that much of a value but I feel like I'd like to mention that you can actually mod this in any, pretty much any mod workbench too. So I'm doing a little test fire here for you guys, and as you can see here, um, the accuracy isn't too bad and the recoil isn't going to be that bad either, but if you just like spam the trigger and shoot as fast as you can, um, you can you can shoot super fast, except if, you know, you're know you not going to be very accurate just because the recoil is going to mess you up, but if you're at close range and there's like a super mutant up there, it's like a big target, you can shoot him down pretty pretty fast just because this thing is so powerful. But if you know if you take your time and like let yourself like recumber from after each recoiled shot, you can actually stay on target a lot and it does pretty much a lot of damage um compared to like other pistols in this like area. This does not require any DLC and it is pretty much compatible with every mod I've used for it. So overall, really great mod and I definitely recommend it. 
Our final mod we have is the World is Dying mod by Fugor2727, and basically what this mod does is it makes it so your XP, you receive 25% of that experience. Carry weight is hardcore, and survival mode with 5 strength, um, for example, you have 75 carry weight. Perks, he removed the level requirement of perks. He played Fallout 4 apparently 300 times, so he doesn't want to level up, so you're going to get your perks right off the bat. Water, um, purified water is super rare and very expensive. Only purifiers give purified water. The rest gives rad water. Food. You aren't a farmer, so you don't pick up crops, only wild ones. Food gives you a lot of rads and doesn't heal. It's not a potion. So yeah, you can see here, he's making the game a lot more difficult and a lot more just different in the game because also, like, if you kill an animal, it has, like, a 75% chance of dropping nothing. It just makes things a lot more harder to get. And besides that, he's, like, increased the, like, chance of, like, enemies spawning and things like that. We've done mods like that before, but I feel like in this mod, he, like, adds in a whole bunch of other stuff that's, like, more cool in my opinion. He's released a ton of updates, and I'm guessing he's going to release more, so I'd recommend downloading this mod because he adds in different stuff all the time for it. And I think it's a really, really fun mod to use because he adds in things to the game that are normally there. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Draped in black, my skin yellow, bring it back to 2010. How you been? I've been at it, I just need to get it.